what's going on everybody welcome to another video okay today's video is a little different you get to meet my 18 year old white dove who is not wanting to turn around right now he is 18 years old coming up in march or february uh his is his birthday is probably february mine's in march uh come here buddy say hello to the camera say my shoulder so he is 18 years old and as you saw in the thumbnail you can see a big difference he's put on a little bit of weight his color got a little bit faded but overall he is still in pretty good health uh, i got him let's see when i was nine years old on my ninth birthday that's how i know hey buddy that's how i know uh his his birthday will come up in february or march because he was only a couple weeks old when we got him now his name is Noah. You could probably guess why. If uh, you are a Christian, we named him Noah because Noah in the ark, he sent a white dove, was able to bring back the twig to show that land was there so they could put the boat on land. And this little guy has been a fun one. Whoop, it's okay, come here. Yep, 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 yep. He has been a fun one for quite some time now. Look at him. Say hey. Say hey. Now he's been through a lot. Um, when I got him, probably in his first year, me and my brother were wrestling. He was walking around and I actually fell on him. Didn't know he was behind me. We ended up breaking his leg. It was pretty, pretty tragic. I was like bawling my eyes out. You know, I was 10 years old and I crushed my bird. He was all right. Um, went to the vet. There wasn't really much they could do. They just put some like tape over his leg and said it would heal by itself. And there you go, he walks just fine. And I'll put him on the ground so y'all can see. Oh, yep, there's this big old cage. Now, if you're wondering anything about these birds and you're wondering, should you get one? Are you interested in birds? Are they, are they high maintenance? So kind of telling y'all birds can be high maintenance, but this little guy is not. So if I had to put like, say on a maintenance scale of one through 10, a monkey, cause you can get a pet monkey with, I think like certain certification. I know a friend that had one, a uh, monkey would be a 10, right? Uh, say a dog is a seven. This little guy is a one. He is very, very easy to handle. Not very high maintenance. You just got his cleanest, cleanest cage every couple weeks get them out every now and again. Obviously, some people like to get them out every day, but overall, it's uh, it's just a one on the scale of high maintenance. I would say a hamster is two on the scale of maintenance. I actually had a pet chinchilla once, and if y'all were thinking about getting a chinchilla, that was like a freaking eight. Those things are like emotionally distraught if nobody's at home, it would tear out its fur. But talking about Noah here, he's been a good little pet. Uh, he's very, very defensive over me. So if you do get one, you, they will recognize, come here, buddy. They will recognize who their owner is. Come here. Look, he does not want to get my finger. So if you ever need to get one of these and you're trying to figure out anything about them, can you pet them? They're just fine. They're fine. You can pick them up like this, normal, or you can press against their chest. They'll get up right up on your finger. This little guy, though. Oh, all right, all right. Chill out. Come here, come here. He doesn't wanna get up on my hand right now. This little guy though, he can't really fly anymore. So he um, he's getting about that age and he's 18 years old. He can do like a brief flight. I really don't like to let him out that much or let him fly anymore because uh, he can see, but he does run into the walls every now and again. So I think he's getting a little hard at seeing, a little tougher to fly. He can hear just fine. Now I will let y'all know if you are thinking about getting a white dove that since I've had him for 18 years, 16 years, he cooed nonstop. So if you are somebody who gets easily annoyed, this is not the pet for you. Let me tell you, he would get so, people would get so upset. We had one person stay at my parents' house back when I was like 12 years old. The guy actually took him and put him in the closet because he was so tired of hearing him coo all night. He would typically not coo at 2 a.m. or something unless he saw somebody move or saw a light. But for the most part, uh, he would coo all day and sleep at night. But, uh, uh oh, did you poop? You poop on my hand? 
He's very defensive. Like I said, they do get emotionally attached to their owner, but not as bad as like a dog or anything else like that. He uh, He's fine if I go away. And uh, sometimes he has plucked out a lot of his feathers if I go away for a long time. And if anybody tries to mess with me, or if he feels like a dog is threatening me, he will actually go after that person or the dog. This little guy gets very, very defensive over me, believe it or not. He doesn't realize he's not that big, so he can't take on a dog. But Noah has been a great, great pet. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, very low on maintenance. Um, they don't get too emotionally attached. They will know who their owner is. They can get defensive, but they won't freak out anytime you leave. Now, a lot of people ask me when this bird goes away, am I going to get another one? Probably not. Uh, birds can live a long time, especially like parrots and stuff can live up to like 60 years. If you're asking what the white dove lifespan is, typically around 15 years. Uh, most live about 12 years in households. Average can get up to 15. In the wild, these little guys only live for about three. Uh, so he is 18. I've read a story where one person had one that lived for 30 years. Can you believe that? You're gonna live for 30 years? But yeah, he. Uh, if he, if you're thinking he bites and stuff, he really doesn't. He'll peck every now and again, but he only pecks usually in his cage or when he doesn't like somebody. So for the most part, he's fine. Uh, just eats. I, I feed him actually uh, par parakeet food. No, cockatiel. I feed him cockatiel food. He loves cockatiel food, don't you, buddy? But for the most part, this little guy is very, very chill. He's a great little pet to have. He's been with me through it all. He is uh, no doubt my best friend. Come here, buddy. Slide down my hand. Look, show him you can fly. Show him you can fly. Yeah, so he just kind of chills. He doesn't really fly a lot. Now, when you do get these at the beginning, if you do want to get a white dove, you will need to clip his wings or they will take off. Now, like I said, he's an older age. He doesn't really fly that much anymore, but he will fly everywhere if uh, they're around one to two years old, especially. So anywhere from like one to 10, you can believe you need to probably clip their wings. Perfectly fine to, fine to clip their wings. You just clip like the ends right here and doesn't hurt them. Done it several times with him. Well, you, you trying to get back in your cage? You want to get back in your cage? He's, he loves his little cage, shockingly. He doesn't want to get out much. Come here, buddy. Come here. Okay, we'll put you back in. No, 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 no. Stop. All right, come on. Come in. And he'll hop right up on there. Check it out. But yeah, that's about it, guys. All the people that ask me about my bird, if they uh, they want to see it, what is he like? That's him. That is Noah. He is, uh, he's been a great pet, like I said, for 18 years. Got him when I was nine years old. I'm about to turn 28 in March, so he's right with me. Uh, like I said, he could live for another 10 to 12 years. Right now, he looks great. He just really stopped cooing recently. Like I said, at probably that 16-year marker, he just stopped cooing. Um, I, it's perfectly normal. I, I think he just he gets kind of winded now. He's a little bit older, so he'll coo like three times, and he'll be done. Back in the day, he'll, he would coo 300 times. I mean, he would do it nonstop. So if y'all want to get these... Uh, rule number one, they're not very high on maintenance. Uh, two, they don't get very emotionally attached. They will they will know who their owner is though, but they're not too emotionally attached. Um, three, you might need to clip their wings. And four, you better prepare to keep one for a long time because you're gonna keep them for probably a decade or two. So everybody, this is him. Say hello to Noah and say goodbye. Appreciate everybody. If you like this video, make sure you please smash the thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one.